So welcome back to the channel. For today's episode, it's gonna be the uh, drawer box. Yung nga sa may ilalim ng workbench. So this design may be a little bit too much, pero the application dito sa may video na to can be used sa paggawa nyo ng sarili nyo cabinet and drawer boxes. So yung unang step is the actual drawer box itself or yung paglalagyan ko ng drawers dun sa mismong project. So four pieces, isang base, dalawang side, and isang top para makomplete yung box. And I assembled it using pocket holes and drag screws. So in this part, ito yung first side and then it's just pocket hole and glue. And then on the second part or yung second wall, medyo na-reinforce ko ng konti ng brad nails. Kasi para pang nagpapakit hole and screws na ako, hindi na siya gumagalaw. And then after that, I have to always check for square. Kailangan squalado lagi yung mismong box para hindi ako magka-problema at the latter part of the build. So, off to the top. Simple lang. Ganun lang din. Kung paano ko binawa yung baba, same lang din sa ibabaw. Pocket holes, drag screws, and then it's done. So, after assembly, uh, tinignan ko muna or finit ko siya sa may ilalim ng mismong workbench. And once I'm satisfied with the fit, it's now time for the drawers. So, since multiple cuts ang gagamitin ko, I use a stop block for my miter so para mabuo yung mga drawers. And then, this is very crucial for the build kasi 21 inches yung buong lapad ng drawer box. And then, 1 inch yung kailangan kong space para sa drawer slide and then 19 and 3 fourths para sa front and sides ng mismong drawer box. And I always leave a 1 fourth inch allowance para yun dun sa may spacing. Here's a better view of it. So, kanina, that's 1 inch. And then, this one, yung allowance, that's roughly around 1 fourth inch. So, after cutting that, punta ako sa may pinaka-base ng drawer, which is 1 fourth inch na plywood. Then, after kung kunin yung pang-base ng drawer, so, lahat ng pinutol ko sa miter na sides and fronts ng drawer, nilagyan ko siya ng groove sa may table saw. That groove will serve as a channel para i-slide in ko yung drawer base na ginawa ko from 1 fourth inch na plywood. So, once it's done or assembled, um, kung magdalaminit kayo, ang gagamitin nyo rito is um, edge banding. Pero, in my case, I use liston naman ang tawag dito. It's a piece of wood, roughly around 3 fourth inch din. Or kasing taba ng plywood. Now, sa pag-install ng drawer slide, um, yung likod ng mismong bearing side ng drawer slide, may tinatawag kaming tenga. Yan yung part na yan. And that's very crucial as well kasi siya yung magiging tiga, parang suspension or tiga-adjust mo sa mga kailangan mong offset, kulang, or sobra dun sa may drawers na. So, pakita ko sa inyo mamaya. So, pag nakabit nyo na yung mismong bearing side dun sa may mismong box, ito namang part na to, this is the uh, guide side or ito yung kinakabit sa mismong drawer. So, after installing it, ipoporma ko ko siya dun sa may drawer slide part. And makikita nyo, medyo off ako ng roughly around 1 fourth inches. Or 1 fourth inch. Yun yung kaninang allowance ko na binigay. Dito sa may part na to. So, pag finit ko siya, lalabas siyang kapos. Ayan, yan yung pinaka kapos niya. So, to compensate that, Yung kaninang tenga na sinabi ko, yun yung i-adjust natin or in-adjust ko para siya yung mag-cover dun sa may kapos na yun. So, using a screwdriver or flathead, iaangat nyo lang siya yung mga bearing side ng drawer slide. So, left and right, hanggang makuha nyo yung 
perfect alignment or at least close to perfect alignment para pumasok na yung mismong slide dito sa may bearing slide. Ayan. So, eksakto na siya. Ang kagandahan sa ganitong approach is meron parang buffer or parang spring-loaded na ngayon yung growers nyo. Hindi siya yung mismong kahoy to kahoy. So, yung parang tenga na yun, siya yung nagiging absorber ng any tension or force na dinadaanan ng drawer pag ginagamit. So, nung na-fix ko na yung una, uh, rinse and repeat. Uh, since three drawers to, ganun lang din gagawin ko sa second and third one. Okay, so nung nakabit ko na yung mga drawer slides and drawer guide, it's now time to wrap the box. Pwedeng pintura or pwedeng uh, tape or sticker, but I choose laminate for this. So, sa laminate, it's simply the, or the uh, procedure of para makabit siya. Is lalagyan mo ng contact cement yung kahoy and then yung laminate. And then after nun, pag dry to the touch na siya, tsaka nyo siya ikakabit. Now, I always leave roughly around 1 fourth inch na pasobra sa lahat ng side pag nagkakabit ako ng laminate. The reason for that is para pag uh, ititrim ko na siya using the router, mas malinis yung magiging ending ng mismo piece. So, this is what I use for trimming it. It's a uh, flush trim bit. So how it works is, the bearing to my side, sa kahoy, tas anything above the bearing, yun yung kinakain ng router bit. In this case, yung pasobra ko na one fourth inch, yun yung kakain niya to make the laminate flush to the wood. And Itong approach na to, or yung bit na to, can also be used to cut laminate. Tulad nito, ang laki nung sobra niya, so pwede mo siyang pamputol. For as long as nakakabit na sa kahoy, yung kailangan mong takpan. Alright, so once everything is wrapped, and nakakabit na rin yung mga drawer slide or guide, it's time to fix the drawers or the three drawers para dun sa may drawer box and the only thing that's missing here is a uh, drawer face so I choose a, a, a solid wood na drawer face uh, just like the trimmings ng tabletop akasha siya so what I did is I milled the piece of akasha so jointer muna and then I don't know, I lost the clip para dun sa may thickness trainer and then final cut ko sa may table saw. Once that's done, nung nakuha ko na yung sukat, this is how I usually attach or install drawer faces. So, double stick tape and then kukunin ko yung clearance using playing cards sa bottom and then sa sides. And then, pag nakuha ko na yung clearance na yun, that's the time na tatanggalin ko na yung takip or pang cover nung double adhesive and then put back the cards yung ginawa ko mga sukatan and then add a little pressure para dumikit yung drawer face dun sa mismong drawer so pushing it from behind tatanggalin ko yung mga cards and then again, adding pressure and then using a clamp. Yan ay magiging pinaka fixed na position ng drawer face. And then what I do is I just screw it from the inside going to the drawer face. Two screws lang okay na. That's it. So, exactong exacto na yung spacing niya sa baba and sa sides. And then again, since three drawers, same process lang din. 
spacer na baraha, and then double stick tape, and that's it. So that's how we make uh, drawer guides and drawer boxes, and I hope uh, you learned something today on how we do things. And thanks again for watching. See you next time.